everybody. I know it's a little bit later in the evening here and it's been a little while since we've done updates. We've been really busy around here uh, between moving our oldest son, like I said in our last little update down here to the farm to help us out, uh, to really getting this shipping container finished up to get it listed uh, for our first renters to be able to stay in it. So it's exciting to take you all through a little walkthrough on what uh, what a finished product looks like, or at least almost a finished product. We still have just a few small little things uh, that we need to do that uh, we're getting some feedback at from some people that have come by to take a look at it. Uh, but for the most part, uh, if somebody wanted to run it tonight, we'd be more than happy to uh, let them stay here. So um, take you on a little walk around. But biggest thing probably seeing right now is we did end up laying sod uh, around the majority, uh, actually all the way around the uh, shipping container just to really try to finish it off. We do have a bunch of the graded uh, dirt that's over on uh, this side right now, which we will eventually do something with. But uh, just to give it a better finished look, we wanted to get some sod happening on it right away. Uh, and also laid some seed down here on the, uh, the left side of the sod uh, just to kind of get that to take. We haven't determined exactly what's going to happen there yet, so we didn't want to invest into uh, the sod uh, just yet because uh, we might end up doing something there in the near future uh, with another rental unit and just trying to give ourselves some flexibility. But I'll take you inside here and show you what uh, things look like. So I know that some of the stuff has uh, already been shown before here, um, but this is the kitchen and we've got a nice rack uh, over here for pots, pans, dishes, silverware, um, some of the uh, appliances that we've got, also our four in one convection oven, microwave, uh, air fryer, wanted to get something that was uh, nice and compact, but uh, had multi-purpose use to it as well. And uh, I know that I uh, showed the fridge down under here as well. Uh, for It does have a small freezer in it, so you can put some smaller items in it if you needed to. Also have the uh, full-size bathroom over here, kind of step back, just to kind of show that. With the pocket door that can be closed. If somebody needed some privacy, I know a lot of times when you have just two people, sometimes it's uh, not a big deal, but we needed to offer that uh, should it be wanted. And a uh, full-size bathroom here with towel racks hanging up over here on the side. And everything else all around here. So uh, full-size shower as well in here, along with the soap dispensers like you'd see uh, at a hotel towel rack, drying rack that uh, Amy had wanted to put over here too as well. And then look out onto the, the deck with the uh, queen size bed that we have here with all the nice pillows and uh, pillow, uh, not a pillow top, it's a memory foam mattress that we actually have on that. And then as we go outside here, slide the screen open here. But we threw out a couple of these Adirondack chairs, uh, well, smaller ones here, along with the table and chairs, too, that uh, if you want to be able to sit out here and eat, uh, it gives you a little bit, of, a little bit of a spot. And then we also have a propane gas grill here for uh, guests to use if they decided they wanted to cook out on a nice evening, such as tonight. So this is... What we look out onto back here, as you can see, we've got more of the sod that wraps around the back of the, the shipping container here, uh, along as some of the grass seed as well. And uh, over on this part of the property here was uh, a lot of deadfall, branches, sticks, uh, and just a lot of uh, kind of a rotting ground cover, leaves and things like that. So we've been working on getting that cleaned up uh, just so that it's a little bit of a nicer view uh, for anybody that wants to sit out here on the on the deck here uh, morning noon night whatever it is but uh, things are definitely coming together here and uh, it's nice to be able to uh, finally offer the rental of this shipping container it's exciting that way we're able to hopefully get um, get it rented out here real soon and then uh, also work on our other uh, rentals that we have here as a matter of fact I can take you for a little walk on that and show you what we have going on because uh, we have started a few things so i might as well give you a little sneak peek on that part of it and turn off a few lights here uh, as i'm leaving otherwise i'll forget about it in a midnight lookout and see that the lights are on so um take a little walk 
around the property here and show you. Been laying more gravel down here too for our our driveway parking area out front. And making it a little bit nicer, uh, easier to walk on than having that base three inch gravel that we had. Uh, made it kind of an ankle twister. So adding some of this more dense, finer gravel on top of it has been been a huge help on that part of it. But um, I'll walk over here and show you what we got. As you can see, we've got an, that camper there. I'm not sure if I showed that to you or not, but that is Amy's grandparents' camper uh, that we brought down from Wisconsin. They uh, unfortunately they passed away uh, a while ago and the camper stayed in the family wasn't exactly sure what they wanted to do with it so they held on to it and then when uh, the family found out what we were doing down here with our rentals and trying to start the business and uh, just trying to share the outdoors with people uh, they decided that they were going to let us uh, bring it down and put it on the property to eventually put it to use. So I think that grandma and grandpa would be super thrilled to know that their camper is going to be enjoyed uh, by other people in the future as well as still stay in the family. So it was a win-win for everybody, but uh, we will get to that one. That's uh, on, I don't know, third or fourth on the list because we still have obviously the schoolie that we have to, to get done too. Uh, which is parked right there but our next one that you can kind of see that we've started here is moving some of the dirt around here for our fifth wheel we've got it up on blocks right now to get it leveled out a little bit more stable and uh, it has uh, some of the dirt that's been moved away here to make room for the fairly large size deck that i'm going to be putting out here and get started on that probably in the next uh, week or so on that part of it but clayton has already started doing some of the demo work in here for our remodels and I'll take you in here. Got a little bit of a mess, but it's not a big deal here. Turn on some of the lights. So this was the kitchen. Well, it is still the kitchen, I guess. Um, but it was the dining room with a table over here. And then there was a couch, a fold-out couch with an air mattress that went right over here. Things are fairly dated. I mean, it is a 2012 and some of the darker colors. So we're, we're taking out some of that stuff to make a little bit more room, put a new couch in here and new dining room set. Um, the ones that were here were a built-in bench seat style and you really couldn't move them around. So we're putting in four chairs and a table just to give a little bit more flexibility of this space uh, for anybody that might want to move things around. And then the upstairs here is where the larger bedroom is and he's done also a pretty good good job up here he's pulled off the trim around the, the slide out that was here this whole back wall area here was actually closets um it held or could have held a washer and dryer over in this corner that's what the plumbing is that's right there which it will come out um, and then there was a uh dresser back in this area you can kind of see the indentations in the carpet we pulled that out just to open this area up We'll do some kind of a standalone dresser probably in that area there um, and then get rid of uh, any unnecessary stuff that doesn't need to be up here. But it definitely opened it up. I kind of wish we would have done it while we were still using the camper because it definitely gives us a heck of a lot more room uh, to be able to move around in here and uh, be able to store stuff too because we were always packing the closets uh, full of clothes and uh, whatever else we might need for some of our trips. But um, I won't get into all the details of the whole camper until we start really getting into it a little bit more. But just wanted to give you a little bit of a show of uh, what we are up to for the next uh, Airbnb rental, or I should say rental unit. And uh, hopefully in the next month or two at the most, uh, this one will be also then listed as a rental that can be uh, stayed in too. So... Otherwise, things are going along smoothly over here, and uh, it's going well. I'll give you one little quick peek around here. My parents, also, we moved their camper, which was up by where Amy's grandparents' camper is, but my parents' camper has now been moved down here. Um, we put in a little bit of a uh, timber retaining wall here. We put through some rock on top of it just to help some of the water that sheds off of the slope that's right here. Uh, but we moved theirs down here uh, last week, week and a half or so, and uh, they're getting things finalized and set up in here just to get this part of the property then uh, looking a lot nicer too. So it's been great having them down here. Also putting in a lot of sweat equity uh, to stay around here, but uh, next thing will be working on our fifth wheel and then uh, getting that remodeled. But we've also got to move our 
lumber yard, timber yard, whatever you want to call it, with all of our logs and log splitter. We're going to put it over here where this this gravel is that's laid here too, just to get it away from the area that it's in right now, just because it's a, kind of a nuisance for and an eyesore for anybody that may be staying over on the shipping container side. So that all that stuff you see there will eventually be moved. The mill will be moved too. Just don't know where its new home is going to be. Plus, I have some people that want to use that here in the next week or two anyway uh, that uh, have helped me out. So I need to help them out with, some, with a few things, cutting some logs down that they need. But that's what we have going on here right now. Um, it's been great having you all follow along with what we've got going on here. Questions, suggestions, uh, ideas have been given to uh, Amy and myself. Um, and uh, we're just going to keep continuing to build this place out and coming up with new and interesting things. So uh, if there's anything that uh, you guys want uh, more detail on or whatever it is, definitely let us know. Um, and uh, make sure that you haven't, if you haven't already, subscribe to it so you get the notifications when we do post a video. Now that Clayton's down here and uh, living on the property full time, it should be a little bit easier for us to do more timely updated videos. It'd be great to get back to doing one once a week, uh, which that shouldn't be a problem, but uh, it depends on uh, what we have going on and uh, how much time he has to do the editing. But uh, right now it's a good thing, so he's going to work on this one here shortly and get this one posted as soon as possible. But thanks again, everybody, for following along and uh, we'll keep you uh, posted as we uh, come up with new, uh, new and interesting things to work on.